Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular practical examples. In this video, we'll learn how we can create days calculator, which helps us to find the days between two dates, which will be selected by user. As you can see here in this example, I can select two dates by using date picker here. And when I click on calculate days, it will automatically calculate number of days between these two dates and it will show in our application. This is one of the most widely used application which can be built in Angular by using very simple steps. So let's see how we can build this one using Angular. As you can see here, I don't have any content in HTML and I have not written any TypeScript code in our TS file. And I have kept browser side to this code editor so that we can see as and when we update the code and how it will reflect in our browser. To build this application, first step is we need to have two date pickers. For that one, let me add two date pickers. These can be added using HTML tag input which will be of the type date. Let me copy this one and paste it here. As soon as I save, you can observe we have two date pickers here. I will add one title to this application. For that one, I will use h1 tag and I want to make it bold. For that one, I will use strong and I will give name as this calculator. For first input, I will add one title as date one. Similarly, for second one, we can have a title by name date two. Next thing we need to do is we need to have a button so that on click of this button will trigger a function where it will calculate the days between these two dates. I will name this button as calculate days. And the final thing which we need to have is we need to display the number of days calculated by this button on HTML template. For that one, I will add one header and I will use strong so that the text will be in bold. I will name this one as number of days. This is the HTML skeleton which we have created now. As of now, there is no functionality for this one. If you click on calculate days button, there is no calculation or any functionality for this one. The next step is we need to build logic to calculate the days between these two dates. For that one, let's go to TypeScript file. First, let me create three variables. First one will be date one, where we are going to store date one, which will be selected from the first date picker. Similarly, date two, which will be selected from date two date picker. And I will create third variable that will be days, which will be storing the final number of days between these two dates. Now we have created the variables, but we need to attach or link these dates to these date pickers, date one and date two. For that one, you can use Angular's two-way binding and bind these variables to these date pickers. To use two-way binding, you can use ng model, then equals, within equal, you can mention as date one. Similarly, for second date picker, you can have the same syntax and mention date two here. Next, final value calculated, which we will be calculating by doing some operation that we are going to calculate in a while. But before that one, I will attach this one to HTML template. For that one, as we want to show that one in our this H4 tag, here there is no input tag and there is only one way binding. That is, data will flow from TypeScript file to HTML. For that one, you can use string interpolation, that is double curly braces. And within that one, mention days here. And the next step is, we need to calculate the days. For that one, let me create one function, calculate days. Whatever the dates we are going to choose from date picker, that will be in the format ddmmyy. That is first date will be stored, then month, and finally year. But we need to convert this one to standard date format. For that one, I will have one variable constant date one modified and I will take a new date object and whatever the date that is chosen by user, I will convert that one to standard date format using this new date object. 
for that one I will add this dot date one similarly we need to convert date to as well for that one I will create another variable date to modified and I will convert date to selected by user using this date picker and I will convert that one using date object and finally I will store in date to modified next thing is we need to find the difference between these two dates there is no direct method to subtract these two dates directly for that one you need to make use of get time get time is nothing but this is one of the dates function which will return us number of milliseconds since january 1 1970 we can apply this get time function on date one modified that will give us the number of milliseconds from this date that is january 1 1970 to the date one similarly we can get it for date two modified as well as we want to get the difference between these two dates i will use subtraction between these two dates milliseconds and i will store this one in another variable that is constant time now we got the difference between these two dates which are selected by the user but finally we want to display in terms of days to convert this one to days from this milliseconds you can use the formula time divided by 1000 into 3600 into 24 1000 is nothing but this is the number of milliseconds for one second and 3600 is 60 minutes into 60 seconds and 24 is the number of hours in a day as we are converting these milliseconds to number of days we are calculating for one day and finally we need to save this one into this dot days this is the variable which we have created earlier now we are done with our logic part the final step which we need to do is we need to call this function when this button got clicked for that one let me go back to html template and within this button i will add one event handler that is on click i'll call this function calculate days now the flow completes and we have built all the logic which is necessary to calculate the number of days between these two dates just to understand the flow we have created two date pickers date one and date two and we are storing that date selected by user in date one and date two using angular's two-way binding that is ng model and as soon when button clicks it will call a function calculate days within this calculate days we are converting the dates chosen by user and converting these to standard dates format by using new date object and we are differentiating these two dates and finally we are converting these two days by using this formula and whatever the number of days which is stored here we are going to display that one in our html template using string interpolation days one mistake which we have done is here we have mentioned date one modified in both the places as we need to differentiate date two from date one i will mention this one as date two modified so now save both typescript files and html template file and you can observe here the formatting has been done so now let's see two dates here date one i'll choose 15th then choose second date as 30 as we know the difference between these two dates is 15 so as soon as i click on click days it should display 15 days here so let's click on this one and you can observe we got the correct answer that is 15 days here suppose if you choose another date for any next month and click on calculate days you can see the difference between those two dates is being displayed properly here another final thing you may need to do here is if you have observed here we are differentiating the date one from date two so suppose if i choose date one which is bigger than date two and click on calculate days you can observe we are getting the value as minus 29 days which is practically not correct for that one you need to remove this minus for that one make use of math function that is math dot absolute which will give us absolute value from this difference 
now save this one the application reloads now and choose date 1 as 30 and date 2 as 25 and click on calculate days you can observe it's showing proper date now so regardless of the date 1 and date 2 choose by the user so that's it guys how we can build a days calculator application by using angular so these are the simple steps which we need to follow here thanks guys for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button share it to others and subscribe to my channel